Chris Duflo started raising hogs in high school to make money to buy a car, running hogs behind his father's cattle. Money was made, but Chris went on to be a banker and then worked for Spartan stores. The family built a turkey facility in 1990. In 95, added four 1,000 head hog finishing barns. And then it was time for Chris to come home and farm. The spring of 97, we started building a 2,500 sow farm and I was still working for Spartan Stores at the time. And so when we built that sow farm, we got the pleasure of marketing our first hogs in 1998, selling pigs for 13 cents a pound. And so the only thing I can remember about that experience was not only were we were losing a lot of money, but my wife saying, you left corporate world for what? And I says, ah, oh, it'll be all right, honey. We'll just keep, you know, we'll keep going. Chris and his brothers Kelvin and Kim make up Circle K Family Farms that raises and markets the hogs. They're also part of 4D Farms that raises turkeys for Michigan turkey producers. Kelvin farms the operation's 1,800 acres. Kim runs the JBT grain elevator operation. And Chris oversees the companies and the management team. Circle K is a 3,300 sow to uh, a contract finishing. We have two company-owned nurseries and one contract nursery. And everything else is contract finished production behind it. And so we uh, do our marketing. 100% of our marketing goes to Indiana Pack and Delphi, Indiana. There are approximately 80,000 pigs going through the system produced in a calendar year. Uh, market somewhere around 75,000 of those. Um, got really good feed conversions, average daily gains. Uh, the most recent average daily gains and feed conversions I've seen are 2.2 and 2.40, which are fairly impressive. Genetics, we are PIC completely. Feed is all JBS United from start to finish. We've done some things, uh, a, a lot of different things on the biosecurity, not only at the units, but uh, going on to the sow farm, we built a uh, transfer station where all inbound uh, incoming livestock has to go to the transfer station first. We call one end of the transfer station the dirty side, the other end the clean side before they, they move on to the site. The other biosecurity things, there's the the footwear and the coveralls and uh, color-coded boots. If you go outside the units, you know, you can't wear this color boot. You can't go back in without showering in. We've always been a 100% shower in, shower out facility. All of our feed trucks have pump sprayers on them so that before they go on to the sow farm and the nursery, they spray before they go on. And likewise, then they would come to the truck wash bay and then they get washed and disinfected. And then from the finish standpoint, we go out of our way to protect the sow herd in the nurseries. And so we have one of our trucks, feed truck, is dedicated pretty much uh, doing the sow farm and the nurseries early in the week. And they can go to finish at the end of the day, but they can't go from a finish back onto the sow farm in the same week. We broke with uh, PD and, uh, on March 10th of 2014. And so we ended up, and uh, the credit really goes to our management staff and the veterinarians that we work with because they had seen enough of it and knew what was going on. And so we uh, took no prisoners. We went at it really aggressively to, in, in, uh, basically through a feedback system to expose the animals as quick as we could. We immediately weaned off a lot younger animals. and. Uh, Jake Vance, who was in charge of our uh, uh, nursery production, he, he was starting six and seven pound pigs. And so uh, it could have been more devastating than it was under a different management team that, that we have the luxury, my brothers and I have to work with, because really they saved a lot of pigs that never would have been saved. Chris has been married to wife Kim for 30 years with two daughters, both Michigan State grads. Nina is a small animal vet in Big Rapids, and Ellie a registered nurse in Lansing. The whole family enjoys hunting and fishing and just being outdoors. Besides paying tuition for his daughters, Chris has helped support MSU by educating future livestock producers and has been active away from the farm in the industry. Chris is a big supporter of MSU and MSU Extension. Um, he would make sure that the Circle K Farms was available for both research projects. Um, Roy Kirkwood and Barb Straw both had projects out there. 
and his um, units were available for the swine production classes at MSU to come up and visit. He spent many years on the MPPA Board of Directors. He was active in Farm Bureau at both the state and local level. And I think Chris's most prideful thing that he does within the community is his activity with the Gratiot County Fair for Youth. He served on the Board of Directors for the fair for many years. For his expertise in raising hogs and his contributions to the pork industry, Chris Duflo receives the Michigan Pork Producers Master Pork Producer Award.